you have a literal switch in your skin that is pre-programmed to make you feel safe. Um, just unfortunately, <laughs> you have to get somebody else to flip it. Inside your skin, there are these neurons, these little, these little cells that will fire when they sense a particular type of touch, right? So some of them will go off when they feel pain, some when they feel hot or cold, some when they feel pressure. But in 1999, scientists made this, this really weird discovery. So they're like eavesdropping on some of these neurons using little electrodes. And they found one neuron in there that like basically ignores everything, won't fire for any of that other stuff, will only go off if you trigger it with a really soft little gentle stroke. Okay, that's the only way you can get it to go off. So they decided to call these C tactile afferents. I mean, we know we know for decades that there's these types of things that you find in animals. Like this is the reason why when you kind of give a dog or a cat like a little scratch behind the ears and they just like lean into it and love it. That's this is literally what's going on, right? It's the, their version of these neurons that are, that are firing and being like that's delicious. But in humans, they're a bit stranger. Like there's some weird stuff going on. For example, like there's this very very narrow frequency in which these things will fire. If you if you go too fast, it's not interested. If you go too slow, also not interested at all. It has to be this sweet spot in the middle of about three centimeters per second that will make these things go off. We also know that the temperature really matters of the thing that's doing the stroking, right? So if it's too hot, don't care, too cold, not interested. The sweet spot, again, is about 32 degrees centigrade, which is around about the temperature of somebody else's hand. Now, okay, if you're somebody like most of us who enjoy the feeling of like soft caresses, then this is not gonna be that much of a surprise. But the question is like, why? Evolution generally is about being as lazy as you can possibly be without dying, right? Why would evolution bother putting something like this? Putting, as though it's got agency. <laughs> Why would you get something like this as a result of, of evolution? And then, just a couple of years ago, this group of scientists led by um, Ilona Croy had this genius idea. They took a group of mothers and they put them in a room holding their babies. And they didn't tell them what they were doing. They just sat back and observed them. And every single one of the mothers started stroking their babies. They weren't just stroking their babies randomly. Every one of them was stroking their babies at exactly the frequency that these neurons fire at, right? This is like no training, no kind of calibration. This is just like maternal instinct that knows the exact rhythm to make their baby feel good. And we now know that this neuron firing, right, is linked with lowering the baby's heart rate, reducing the baby's stress. And if you do this, for preterm babies, you will literally reduce the amount of time that they spend in hospital. How gorgeous is that, that there is this like built-in biological lullaby that we are all pre-programmed to know the rhythm to even before we're born. What an added win that it just so happens to work for adults too.